How's everybody feeling? Everybody all right? My first time we doing a live video on on a tutorial, a live tutorial. So I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie to you. How are you doing as I check our connection? A couple messages for the viewers, so pick a section, have a seat. Yeah, I know this is different. Quit with the questions. Allow me a second, please, to make my first impression. YouTube, what up? Welcome to another 978 custom video. And yeah, my video got demonetized, my live tutorial on how to sculpt. Whoa. So I want to make another video for you guys. Hopefully we can do it a little more organized anyway. But this is what I was able to make yesterday on the live stream, if you were able to catch it. It was about an hour long. This is the left leg. So we sculpted some cuts in the thigh area. And I think it came out pretty cool. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened with the video. We got demonetized. Um, I did cuss maybe once or twice, but I don't think it was for that. I don't I have no idea why. Here's the right leg. Both are similar, but both are very different. One left leg, one right leg. And that was what I was supposed to do. I was gonna do a left leg, right leg, then a left foot, right foot. Instead, I actually ended up doing two right feet. But nonetheless, they do look pretty clean. I think it does look pretty cool. Both are different as well. And I still have that live stream. Maybe I'll release it again and, and you guys wanna watch it with no ad revenue coming to me, that's fine too. But it's not about the ad revenue anyway. I wanted to make a more organized video. And hopefully this is that. I'm not sure if this will be that though. So bear with me guys. But this is another right foot. So today I'm going to do the opposite pretty much. I'm going to do two left feet and then the same left and right thigh just to have two pairs of legs from thighs to feet or calves, whatever. You guys can see I have a whole bunch of legs on that side over there. They are to make more of these guys, spider hulks. And we're pretty much gonna follow these design. Not, not to an exact pattern, because again, the ones we made already don't look like this, because you're never gonna make two cuts look exactly the same way. I mean, you can if you want to, but I personally like to make just different cuts. It's fun. You don't have to do exactly what I do, but follow along. What you'll need is a two-part component sculpt. Well, you don't need that, but this is what I use. Epoxy sculpt, abs epoxy, part A and part B. Again, it's a two-part component. All you need to do is take equal parts and mix them. So you also need two separate tools to dig into each part of the sculpt. You don't want to use the same tool going in one and then going in the other, because then you risk mixing them on accident and having hard pieces in your sculpt. This is part A. It is a watery, appears to be more watery than the other one. A little more translucent. And I don't know, it's the best way I can describe it. Mine's is neutral gray. It does come in a lot of different colors, but mine's is gray. I like gray because it's like a good prime color anyway. 1.4, pretty good. I was kind of aiming for a gram and a half. So a gram and a half of part A and a gram and a half of part B will make three grams and that should do it. Part B, a little more drier than part A, a little more solid as far as like see-through. And it smells like corn chips. But what I'm doing is just digging from the center where it's more fresh. You see the edges look a little crusty, so I try not to use that, even though I should, but I probably won't. I'll probably get a new one after this. But I'm going in the center, going straight for the middle, trying to grab the softest piece and hopefully I can grab enough to equal up to a gram and a half. So let's weigh this up and see what this comes out to. Hand to eye coordination, drum roll please. That's it right there. What does it weigh, what does it weigh? Come on, I can't do this all day. Woo! I'm nice, see I do this too often. It's nothing to brag about. All right, so we got just about three grams, 2.8, which is spot on, half and half, 1.4 plus 1.4 is 2.8. So you can see the differences in what they look like. Easiest way I find to mix these together are my two fingers, of course. The thumb and the pointing finger, I just try to thoroughly mix it as 
best as possible using my other finger to kind of rotate it. And you got to thoroughly do this for about a good maybe minute or two. And then I will get it into a ball shape as best as I can and then roll it on my two palms. In between my palms, just roll it as, you know, make it into a circle. We all have done this with dough or whatever, Play-Doh. Same thing. Then mix it up again. Mash it, mash it, mash it. Roll it into a ball and repeat. So that's what you're gonna do a couple times until you thoroughly mix it. And then when it's all mixed, you can just set it aside and let it sit for about five minutes. Then you can start working on it. In the meantime, it's probably a good idea to clean up the workspace. We don't need all this in front of us. It's kind of overwhelming, so we should only keep what we use. Abs epoxy, we already got that. We don't need it. These brushes, we don't need them. We don't need any of these legs. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll be doing these another day. So we don't need them in our face right now. Here we got some feet that we did, some new feet, and the sculpt that's already set, ready to go. Taking off a little piece. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did. Just roll it up, except this is not gonna be in a ball shape. This is going to be in like a line. So just roll it on your finger gently until you get this like one line, I guess. Trying to thin it out. Don't want it to be too thick, but I need it to be long enough to wrap around the toe to about the inside of the heel. The sculpt is at its softest right now. It only sat for about a minute or two. And I'm gonna cut that off, it's a little extra. So I try not to waste any sculpt. But anyway, you see how there's an inside and an outside of the sculpt here. If you kind of if you kind of understand what I'm saying here. I'm holding it tight though, because I don't want to loosen this up when I'm pressing down on it. So you need to hold this very tight or have something to hold it. But I'm gonna press this in here to blend it in with the plastic. And because my finger isn't big enough to get into that crevice, so that sculpting tool is perfect. Here I have a little bit of water in this cap. And the water is to smoothen out the sculpt whenever I'm pushing down against it. Cause I wanna kinda make it seamless against the plastic. And it's not gonna be perfect, so don't worry. But the idea is to kind of just push the outside gently, push down and then slide gently with your thumb till you get the sculpt blended in with the plastic as much as you can. Using water helps the sculpt smoothen out a little bit. Don't overdo it with the water though, but a little bit does help. So do that on the outer edge, smoothen it out completely. And then once that's smoothing, we can work on cutting it up, but for right now, just make sure that's all smooth. I realized talking through this whole thing is kind of unnecessary, so I'm gonna talk when I need to, and then let the rest speak for itself. Alright, this foot looks kind of good. Maybe I'll add more to it later on. But you see I'm trying to blend in between those toes. Get some more sculpt. You guys know this routine by now, right? Roll it up, roll it up. Everything we just did to the last foot, we're doing exactly the same here, just different cuts. But the way we place and roll the sculpt and apply it, it's all the same. Here I'm just trying to blend in the sculpt to the plastic. In case you forgot, you gotta press down and push up and slide. Press down and push up slide gently and push harder toward the end so you can blend the plastic in with the sculpt. If you don't blend it in 
good enough. You can always sand it, so don't worry about that too much, but just try your best to blend the two. All right, let's do some comparing the left leg versus the right leg. The right leg to your left, we did in the tutorial, and then the one on the right, which is the left leg, we did today. But this one looks really cool. It has some, some different rippings, which we could add more to this one if we wanted to, but maybe we'll just cut it up and call it a day. I'm gonna go with some sharp cuts because that's the easiest and I think it looks really cool on the feet anyway. So I'm gonna do this little triangle cut. Do that maybe two times, two or three times. You can do as many as you want or as round or sharp as you like. It doesn't really matter. But one foot down onto the next. Do the same thing in the same spots or in a different spot, however you want to do it, it does not matter. I think being inconsistent really pays off with rip clothing because you can't predict what's going to rip. So you might as well just do it any way you want. All right, so once you roll up your sculpt and get into that line, same thing except here I like to make a oval shape around the muscle and for me it's like the biggest muscle bulging out is probably the best one to do first so i'll just i'll wrap around that as best as i can i mean if if his muscles were going to protrude out of his clothing it'd be that that thigh muscle here but remember what i said earlier about having an inside and an outside this is the outside that's the inside the inside is where the green's going to be and the outside is clothing so you want to press it down on the outside and smoothen it to the plastic and I know I just gave you a couple of examples already but the thigh same thing it's just you got to go around all the way so you just gently push down and press back down and press back and you'll get it and just keep your finger moist and smoothing out those edges as best as you can and again if you don't get it the best the first time you can always sand for time's sake, I'm gonna speed it up times two so we can just go through this really fast. You guys should understand the process. You push down, you slide back on the edges of the sculpt, leaving the inside open for skin paint, right? And it has like a lip and edge on the inside where in the outside, it's just blended into the plastic. Best time to do it is when the sculpt is soft. Right now, it is still pretty soft. So it's pretty easy just pushing it in. Be patient and keep in mind on where you're holding the figure. You don't want to press on the sculpt that you're shaping. So be mindful of where your fingers are. That's, that's also key. But I think it looks pretty good. All we need to do is add some cuts to it to make it look like it is ripping.
Sometimes if you can't get a sharp clean cut, the tool I like to use is this pick. I'll just push the sculpt back in place and try to shape it rather than cut it again because then I'll be taking more off than I want. So shaping it works too. This one's different. This has a lot more tears than I usually make. It's like five or six cuts. We'll see how that looks when it's painted. Row, row, row your sculpt gently on your palm. Happily, 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 and remain calm. Right, here are the legs I had made yesterday for the live tutorial. These are all dry. We probably could paint these if we wanted to. And these are the other legs we made today. This is what we just made. Can't paint it yet. It's still wet. But I think it looks cool. This is definitely different than what we made yesterday. So you can make them semi-similar or different. However you want to do it. It doesn't really matter. But 
I think it looks pretty cool. It's hard to really tell with the gray sculpt on top of this pearl leg, but when it's painted, maybe you can get a better look. Well, this is it. That's what we made. Two pairs of legs, two thighs, two calves. Well, not the calves, but two feet and then two upper thighs. If you feel like these aren't as smooth as they can be to the plastic, well then remember, we still have sandpaper and that's the next process. I mean, you're not done yet to fine it up and make sure everything is, is very smooth. You're gonna need to sandpaper some of this. That's how it always happens. Sometimes you'll think you even have it and then when you paint, you'll notice the seam lines and then you'll have to go back and sand it again. So no worries though, just be patient, be delicate. Once it all dries, it's like rock hard, so it shouldn't give you any issues in sanding it. But I do think they look pretty cool. We got the other four legs. These four are done. Two from yesterday, two today. All four are different. Let me know in the comment section down below if you can see what they look like, if they look pretty cool, or if we should paint them so maybe you can get a better look then. But yeah, let me know that too, because I'm down to paint them on a video. Might as well. But I think it looks pretty cool. Either way, guys, I appreciate the love. Feel free to give a guy a thumb up. Subscribe for more content. Hit the notification bell because who knows after December 10th. I hope this tutorial helps you out a little bit on understanding how to sculpt. See you in the next one. If you choose to subscribe, you the man. Yes, you. Everyone below in the comments. Yes, you too. Thank you very much for showing me love. Who knew? It's ironic how we think out the box for you too, right? Sing, 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 sing. Everybody.